all right people so that was home number one we're just now leaving out of home number one going into home number two and when i tell you these homes are different the inside of these homes are completely different from anything that i have seen at any other clayton homes and that just gets me excited that last bathroom in the inside of that house ladies and gentlemen oh man i am so glad that we came to this one all right so we are approaching home number two i'm hoping that these homes continue to knock our socks off because there is nothing like going in this inside of something that's new all right we don't want to keep stepping inside of homes that that looks familiar all right so this is home number two people Ooh, different this is different all right we got some windows over here this right here is the living room area all right so it looks like we are at a either two or three bedroom house i believe this might be a three bedroom as well the layout it looks like it okay let's go ahead and uh yeah what do you guys think about this living room nice enough space for you need a little bit more i'm actually i'm content with it of course depending on the price i'm, I'm content with it though all right so let's go into the very first bedroom single wide they are gonna mm, okay i was expecting for it to be a lot smaller than this you hear the echo? <laughs> I was expecting for this bedroom to be a lot smaller. Did y'all expect that? This is some decent space right here. Got the vent close to. If you're going to put a vent on the floor, I do appreciate, you know, that they do put it closer to the wall. I appreciate that. I mean, I would prefer for it to be up above, but... If you're going to put something on, on the floor, put it as close so it's not going to, you know, be too much of an inconvenience. All right. We even got a decent sized closet over here. Okay. So far, so good. I mean, the shortcomings are there, but they're not that bad as long as that price reflects. Right? <laughs> Y'all know how I am about that, that price reflection. All right. So we don't have as much light as we had in the other house, unfortunately. But we still got some pretty decent lighting in here thanks to this uh, iPhone 15. Can you open it Open it up a little bit? Let's, let's see what we got. Okay. We got a shower and tub combo right here. I don't know if these things, I don't think they're big enough or something. They are having issues sliding. Slide for me now. <laughs> all right so you do have a, a toilet right here pretty much basic toilet right here you go ahead and do your business this is pretty much just a, a regular bathroom but i see that they they are actually putting those bathroom vents on the top again i appreciate it and the one on the floor is closer to the wall nice all right so let's go into room number two okay so that's what I was expecting. Okay, all right, there we go. So we actually have, this is room number two. You got a big window over there. This would be more of an office space than an actual, you know, room that someone would be able to sleep in unless you have like a, a kid or a teen, a small teen that's gonna be okay with this. Yeah, this is, uh, this is tight. This is tight. Putting a bed in here. Yeah, it's, it's going to be really tight in there. Okay, all right. Wait a minute. All right, there we go. About the same for the uh, for the closet space. Again, guys, this is a very, very tight bedroom space. Now, I was just giving you guys a compliment on your... Things being closer to the wall, your vents being closer to the wall. I'm walking backwards, people, because I don't want you guys to see the price. And the price actually is smack dead in our face when we come out of that bedroom number two. So I had to maneuver. All right, so now we're going to go into, wait, before we get into there, what is this? A little snack? No, more like a regular, like little cloak 
uh, coat closet or something. All right. Now we're going to go into the master bedroom. This master bedroom is actually bigger than the other one. The other one was a double Y. Or it seems like it. What do y'all think? Do appreciate they got this vent on the... Well, yeah, this vent closer to the wall. But that one is a little bit, you know. Hmm. I like. I like. All right. You got two big windows right there. All right. This is... Let me close this door. Give you guys a better look. All right, so you guys can kind of see how big this room is. It's a pretty decent size for a single wide. All right, let's go ahead and go in here and see what that closet space is looking like. Okay, so this is uh, this is a single wide. All right, so you're not gonna have that much space when it comes to to closet space, which is which is cool as long as that price reflects that. All right, so now let's go into the bathroom. All right. So as you guys can see, we do have a small shower, small standing shower. Only thing is when I get into showers like this, I gotta wash my hair. Trust and believe that water is going to be on the floor. That's one of the, the complaints that I do have about Single showers like that, or standing showers like that. All right, got a nice. Did they did they add the little? Ooh, okay, nice. Got the little rugs out here. Yo, this thing feels nice. Yo, I need to spend so much time talking about this rug, but how much y'all want for that? Uh, pretty much one of those those basic little tubs that they have in uh, most of the Clayton homes. You do have a. Toilet over here. You got some space over here, which I don't understand why they didn't kind of extend that just a little bit. Maybe even change that over there or something, man. Shift the toilet over, make this bigger so we could have had like maybe more of a little walk-in shower, a bigger walk-in shower. I don't know what's up with that. They definitely can extend this right here to make that bigger. It's a lot of different things that they could have did with this bathroom and all of this space. Like this thing has plenty, plenty of space. And I don't really spend that much time in the bathroom. And if I am, you know, I'm going to be comfortable in that. You can give me a little bit more space. Again, you could have either made this thing long ways or definitely extended, definitely extended this dog on walk in shower, man. That was an epic fail right there. All right. Anyway, let's go ahead and get out of here and let's see what this kitchen and dining room area looks like before we check that price. All right, guys. So here we go. I actually love the small island. I am actually a huge fan of the small island. I would prefer to even have had, I don't know. I prefer to, to see and talk to people while I'm washing dishes. I'm a I'm a dishwasher man myself. I don't really use a dishwasher. I don't even know what those things are called. No, <laughs> but yeah, I don't really use a dishwasher. But yeah, being able to at least prep your food and everything, you know, before you put it into the oven, you can speak and talk to your guests. I think that's that's nice. That's a nice little clutch, man. Or they can even sit at the table and you can talk to them. This. This is a nice little, nice little feel. I actually like the little, little chairs. So nice. All right. Got the little sliding door right there at the back. Again, the cabinets. I appreciate it that these things don't go all the way up to the top. That's a big window. Uninterrupted. I like that. I like that. You can't, can you open it? No. You can't open those windows. Interesting. All right, of course, you got the sink and the dishwasher. <laughs> you got the oven right here, and then a little place to put some little knickknacks and stuff above your stove. All right, so now we're going to go into what I almost forgot about is the laundry room. All right, so right here, you got the, oh, the back door, and then you have the washer and dryer area. And if you turn to the left, you got like some little pantry type area or whatnot. You can throw some, 
Y'all know I'm a, I'm a snack. I'm a snack king. I love the snacks. Throw some snacks and stuff back here. Okay, then. Wow. I didn't think that it was going to make that much noise. Wow. Okay. But yeah, y'all know I'm the snack king. I love snacks. That's a nice little area to put back there. I wasn't, wasn't expecting that. Again, that price better reflect. That price better reflect this thing and we can talk. All right, guys. So what are your thoughts? How much do you think this three bedroom, two bath, 1,369 square foot home is? Drum roll, please. Bam. There it is, people. $103,224. But, boom, you could actually get it for $99,500. So it's up under hundred k Of course, you will need to add the 13000 or whatever. We're going to see. We're going to hear from him and see what he has to say about, you know, what that $13,000 is going to cover. So what do you think, guys? $99,500. Do you think that this is the way to go? Yay? Nay? Hmm? Maybe? Yes? No? Let me know down in the comments, guys. Now I'm just wondering, am I on the single wide or am I on the double wide side? I could have sworn that he said this is the single wide side. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to have to check. Anyway, guys, yeah, y'all let me know down in the comments. Let's talk about it, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.